divisive and unpredictable presidential races has happened in modern history, but it has reached its end. We need a new beginning. Father God, bring order out of the chaos of these last few months. Mother God, set us free from the turmoil. Lord, we need your healing to end the hate and fear, to challenge us that we can be stronger together as we work for the progress of all people in our beloved country. That united we stand and divided we fall. May our nation serve as a shining beacon of unity, freedom, and hope around this world. They couldn't be here, but they're home watching. They've been 
they've been switching in and out of the uh, big screen between uh, an outside program going on. We just saw Senator Chuck Schumer speaking. He could be the Senate Majority Leader if Democrats are to take over the Senate. But going back now to watching projections, this is what the crowd uh, is anxious to be looking for as they see Florida, they see the vote count very tight. Now, meanwhile, Secretary Clinton is about a mile and a half from here. She's at the Peninsula Hotel. She is uh, obviously watching uh, these returns as well. She's with her family. She's with her husband and her daughter and her son-in-law as well as her grandkids and a, uh, a number of close aides and longtime confidants. She has been working on her speech, uh, both speeches, I should say, and she has aides who are sort of working in some of the fixes she's been doing. But again, a lot of curiosity here about how the night is going to unfold and which of those speeches she's going to be giving. A lot of uncertainty right now. All right, guys, we'll get back to you.
biggest record going back to 1980 is an 11 point gap with non college educated white men. We're looking at 49 points between Trump and Clinton tonight. We're seeing gender gaps in some of these states, the likes of which we've never seen before. 30 some points in some states. Uh, and it is, it is another place where you can see uh, a sense of being like that. So if you have African Americans being about 89% of the and Hispanic Americans being down to about 67%, and African Americans, you've got this incredible divide. It's not just a privacy divide, it's a divide among groups of people who are feel very, very hostile to each other.
we should get some sleep. Oh, wow. We'll have more to say tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you.